Hi, I'm Ronald. I'm a lawyer, advocate, tutor, thinker, speaker, writer. In this episode, we'll look at one theory of distributive justice, Amartya Sen's and Martha Nussbaum's capabilities approach. In their theory, they believe that society should ensure each person has the necessary capabilities or capacity to exercise freedom to be and to do what each person considers valuable. Within this theory, Amartya Sen suggests that there are causal components of capabilities, individual endowments, individual needs, external physical and social conditions, and individual agency. And these have to be converted through personal, social, and environmental means, and which would then result in capabilities, real opportunities of being able to be or to do. Value preferences, individual and cultural values have to then be taken into account within this framework in order for real capabilities. Being and doing, that entails, for example, being well-nourished, educated, having good health, being loved, or earning living wages, political activism, caregiving, and having relationships. The focus is on ends, not means. Sen critiques Professor Ronald Dworkin's quality of resources because he suggests that values of resources differ for different people depending on individual circumstances. Sen further critiques John Rawls and Ronald Dworkin for their transcendental institutionalist approaches, which he says are divorced from reality in developing countries, which is the context that Amartya Sen speaks from. Thank you. Be smart, be brief.